any. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's just do that. Oh, my screen froze, I think. I was trying to like load up all the uh, sessions, I guess. Oh, my game crashed! Five days since the release of Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, and here we finally are with patches. Five days too late, probably, to be honest. What do we even get in these patches? For starters, there's the uh, Battlefront 1 loading screen audio. Here's the original. Here's the one from the day of release. And here's the fix. Heroes Assault got a fix. Asajj Ventress's abilities, Kit Fisto's lightsaber is finally animated, and Kit Fisto's force power no longer sticks to the client in multiplayer. They did a bunch of visual fixes for Battlefront 2, and control schemes for both Battlefront 1 and 2. Multiplayer fixes, they did crash related to client message sends, large prompt to be present after timing out or selecting cancel while joining a server, both for Battlefront 2, and password locked games to no longer appear via the quick match options for both Battlefront 1 and 2. There is other fixes with audio and other notable bugs, but nothing is mentioned about the lag, server problems, split screen only having two player options instead of four, Hoth with its texture problems, and still nothing on their Twitter anyways about the mods used but not credited. For the other problems I haven't looked into it to be honest, <laughs> I've not bored. As of recording this though, there is only 500 people playing the Classic Collection, 500 people playing the Classic 2005, and 1500 people on the EA Battlefront 2. This doesn't bode well for the Classic sadly, and yes I will most likely be getting a refund myself. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, like the video, sub it, you know, and I'll see you in the next one.